What is going on guys? Skip here and welcome back to another episode in our Road to Glory series. Today we're back with some Red Bull Cricket as we continue the Sheffield Shield down under, heading to Melbourne to take on the Vicks in a must-win clash on the season. But before we get there, you can see that the Outlaws have hit us up with a couple of contracts. We do take some time over the Christmas break. All of the international things are happening in Australia. So we get a longer break. Go and see the sights. Go and do a few things before we get back into it. It looks like we do have the big bat or the T20 slam, I should say. We've got the four-day stuff and the one-day cup. So the big fellas trending in the right direction as we continue on with this career. Strap yourselves in and enjoy it, ladies and gents. It's Robin D. Bank. So after a 40 minute flight to the big smoke, we land at the Junction Oval today for the back-to-back -back clash against the Victorian Bush Rangers. And boy, will they be out for blood today. We've got Big Wayno and Big Malto out in the middle. As the coin goes up, we choose tails. We know it never fails. And the Vicks get the job done on this occasion. She's a hard dry one. It's 25 degrees, a little bit of breeze around and the Vicks have decided to have a bowl. Rightio, Robin, let's keep this batting form up, brother. Strap them on and get it done. It's always good to see these two walking out to the middle. Down in Melbourne as well, it makes all the sense in the world as we sim our way through the first 36 overs. We're going to pick up play with the score at 128 for four. We won't take the first ball. We'll just settle into this and Will Sutherland is going to steam in for his fourth ball. Jordan Silk down the other end on five. He's going to get on the money. We're going to get forward and defend. We do have to remember that this is an 80 rated Victorian lineup as we get a short one and we miss it. Yes, an 80 rated Victorian lineup. I don't see them buckling twice. So we've got a lock in here as Sutherland goes short again. We get the top edge over the top. We're off the mark with 637 are done and it's 135 for four. So we pick up from where we took so we pick up from where we left off last episode as Siddle's in from wide of the crease. We get forward and defend. Once again, a bit of a tricky time into the second session. Jordan Silk is there. We open our hands and find that gap through gully again. You'd think that they've done their homework. Not on this occasion. We're back for two more. If you've tuned into one of our live streams, you would have seen that we can't get a run with Rodney Stroker. But because this bloke's a little bit tall, the batting is so much easier. Can get forward. We can play through the line of the ball. We can open our hands again. That is the... That's just my favorite shot. We're back for two more easy runs. Finish off the 38th and it's 140 for four. So Sutherland, certainly one of the dangers here as he goes short and we play and miss. The catch is still in place, extra cover to the ring and we feed it straight to him. We take off a little bit slow and we're just home. The first look at Fergus O'Neill. That hairline looking like the golden arches at McDonald's as we go to drive a bounce. We get the Frenchie a little bit of luck and it's a boundary. Well, I've just realized that we've lost a wicket as well. 146 for five. Nathan Alice is with us as we drive Fergus through cover. That's a beautiful shot. The wrists are in full flow and there's another boundary. 150 up. Well, we are out the blocks here. Got ourselves to 19 off 13. We are hitting the ball with some serious power. We've looked to farm the strike in the past. Today, session two, innings number one. I think we're just going to play our natural game here and trust the batting lineup. We've got to learn, and if we're going to have to learn the hard way, so be it. As we work this two mid-wicket for three. It's all about trust as we get to the business end of the season. There's another short one from Sutherland. We fend it to Gully. They just keep that ring field. I don't mind it here. Is he short? We drive down the ground. No, we hesitate. He throws the wrong end. We've barely faced the ball in the last three overs, but credit to Alice. He's 12 off 17. As Perry's in with the half volley and we jam it down to mid off no run. They've used the short ball well here. The Vicks really choked us up. Good field placement as well. There's another one into the rib cage. They're starting to swing the ball. Couple of in duckers. As we get the half volley we want, we jam it to the man at extra cover. Direct hit as well. 45 are done and it's 165 for five. 
It's becoming a little frustrating now as we finally get some width and we find Gully. We're not going the aerial option. We're keeping it all in check. Play some proper four-day cricket as we slash again for no run. We have not made a run in a long time. We've lost another wicket. Freeman comes in at six down and we get this one to cover for no run. Well, we were 19 off 13, now 22 off 38 as we drive again. This is good bowling for Victoria. Just been in a real good channel. We move to off stump and we get one to the man at cover. He dives and we'll take the single. So Fergie, the chief destroyer, he's got three for 58. He goes wide and we've slashed it straight to gully. We're out. We're gone. He's got himself four, seven, a down and Robin's thrown it away. Yeah, we got the short wide one. That's the ball that we've literally been waiting for for six overs. We missed time it. They've got the catcher in there. We're gone for 23. It's seven wickets down for 166 as Riley Meredith rolls in. And I don't expect the tail to do too much here. And that they don't. We'll have a quick look at the scorecard before we get into it. All out for an even 200 in the 64th over. We're still on day one in the evening session. Peter Siddle picking up a four for we got nowhere with the bat a top score of 60 and we've got it all to do in the first game back after Christmas. Will Pekowski, well he's on a pair, the things you don't forget we schnicked him off twice last match and we're going for it again we're fast and full and Pekowski's driving to the man at mid off for no run. Well and even 200 on the board should relax Pekowski just enough as we're in for ball number 2 and he works at 4 to square, no run gee you'd hate to get wrapped on the pad here in Wayno trig you out. Ball three, we cramp him up well bold. Not a lot of aerial movement, but we'll stay with this contest. Ball number four sees Pekowski leave. So the last of the first. Pekowski discipline. The big fella looks for his shins. He gets a bit of nip away. He lets it through the keeper. One over is done, and it's none for none. Still yet to get off the mark. None off six. We start our second, and he's kicking it outside the line. We just make some noise. The three catches in place, nine dot balls, the tenth one straightens. Well, we've played it nice so far, no short balls. He's still yet to get off the mark. The last of the over is full. He gets it over cover. It's going to trickle away to the boundary. Three are done, and the Vix are 12 for none. And now that we've established that he wants to let the hands go, we'll try the inducker. We'll bend the back, and he's driving a mid off. 188 runs to play with. The Vicks are good at the junction. We get the leg cutter going. And he works it behind square. I don't know how he's got it there, but he'll come back for a couple. We've just got to stay in these games for longer stretches. As we're in on the shins, he's getting inside edge and run. Can we pick it up? We can't. The first look at Marcus Harris, the last of our third. We're going to go short to him. He takes it on. He finds the gap at mid-wicket. It's a shorter boundary out there. Is it going to go all the way? It's not. They keep it to two. That's the end of the fifth, and it's 17 for none. So we have a spell after three overs. We pick up play in the 13th. Pekowski's gone for an early shower. It's 48 for one. The Vicks are on top as our first ball to Peter Hanscom's nice. And this might just be where the Tassie captain does his best work as he gets the edge of Hanscom's bat and it goes through the gap for four. We're just doing enough on that line. We come in for the last of our fourth. Oh, how has he got bat on that? The second wicket falls. Both openers back in the shed. Hanscom looks to drive. It's a nice one. It goes through mid on. And as he got the wheels for it to go to the boundary, he doesn't. I think they'll keep it at two. We bring out a catcher, put him at short cover. Square leg goes a little square, and we keep that fourth stump line. Good discipline. Just the two off the over. We've kept it honest in our five. Is the in string is there. How is that? That is absolutely savage. Trout. Wado's going to trigger him. Oh, we are too good. And Peter Hanscom's got to go. That is superb bowling from a big dog. All right. On the stroke of drinks, how good is that? Jonathan Merlot rolls in to the wicket. The Vicks are 56 for three. Make that 60 for three before we start our six. And we'll have a quick look at 
the review on that. I'll tell you what, it was absolutely salmon trout. Oh, it's not going to give us what we want. Pitched outside off, yeah, it doesn't look like that. But we'll get straight back into it. In Swinging Yorker, thank you very much. Middle stump out the ground. We start over six with a fast and full one, and Merlot lets it through. Well, I've actually got to check this ball out. Look at the seam. Look at the movement. He's driving to that man at cover, and it has just hit him square on the foot in front of middle. Thank you very much. So we now know that the in-swinger works. Merlo faces his second ball. He gets forward and uses his bat. The Trouts just find themselves back in games. We go the short ball to Merlo. He's underneath. And although we're just changing lengths, the line is consistent. We go to the toes and we get popped down to mid on. I'm getting excited. The short been rather watchful here. We know he can let him go if he gets going. And he drives it to the man at mid off. That's a dot ball 19 a done. And the Vix is 71 for three. The stamina good. Feeling all right. Can we get this 20 over ball to hoop back we do another four dot balls pressure building or oh, he's up ish to cover he's a good wicket to bat on we go cross seam for the last of the eighth and he stands on his front todd and goes bang through mid wicket what a shot that is but that boundary was the end of our spell. We come back in for the 33rd. It's 119 for four. Sutherland out there, short gone, and our first ball keeps Merlot honest. So we're made and over. We start number 10 with a short ball that gets taken on. It's romp behind square, and that's going to be a boundary. Well, momentum has certainly swung. We go a little bit wider of Wayno here, and now Merlot drives us. Oh, is there a run out there? Isn't. If we're not going to get any purchase off the deck, we'll use our angles. There's the Indaka. We're fresh and ready to go for day two. Over 11, full tank, and the first ball hits Sullen straight in the temple. Welcome. Well, that there is a genuine badging. Good start for Tazzy. Oh, how about second up? Shake that off. A little Taylor Swift special to get you through Christmas. Third time he's out the way. Well, we're setting the tone here at the junction over. We go a bit fuller this time he gets his bat down. Well, it's good, hard, competitive cricket. Last of our 11th is the in-swinger. He throws his bat across the line. Some real hacky shots in this Victorian innings as they come back for a couple. Close out the 37th and it's 1-3-2 for four. The Vix creep closer to that 200. We go the toes and get a French cut, and that's going to go to the boundary for four. Well, we've certainly rattled Sutherland. Oh, my God. We've taken a wicket. 143 for five now. He's Harper's in, and we give Merlo a nice freebie. It's a low full toss that he bunts down the ground. Is it going to go for four? Or it does. I reckon it all falls on Merlo here. Oh, he's cutting beautifully as well. I feel like their shots are a little delayed, but he gets maximum result. Well, apart from the LBW, nothing else to really celebrate as we get tickled down to fine leg for the last of the 43rd. And Victoria, 154 for five. From the LBW, nothing else to really celebrate as we get tickled down to fine leg for the last of the 43rd. And Victoria, 154 for five. Yeah, and well, that was the last we saw of the RD be with the ball. We'll have a quick look at the scorecard. We've managed to go and knock the VIX over for 224 in the 69th over and boy has this four day game just evened itself up. Merlot got 67, Sutherland 33, Nathan Ellis the chief destroyer with four for 30, Bowie Webster a couple and the RDB ended up just with the one for 42 off the 14. The economy was three and over and I'll tell you what I feel like we bowled a lot better than our figures. We trail by 24 as we get stuck into our second innings. Ladies and gents, we are going to leave it there for today's episode. We're going to pick this one up in the next one. I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas out there, whether you celebrate it or not. It is a great time of the year just to drop the tools and catch up with those special ones around you, just to remind you that everything is a-okay. If you have enjoyed it today make sure you hit that thumbs up button leave a cheeky comment down below and make sure you swing over and catch us in one of our live streams we will be back on boxing day with another episode we will be finishing this one off but until the meantime look after yourselves merry christmas and look after those around us and i'll catch us all in the next one